Hi everyone, welcome back and today I will be reviewing Butterick 5965 VB. As you can see, I'm doing things a little different today. This blouse is not fitting over my dress form, so I'm going to have to do a flat pattern review and we'll see how it goes. So the first thing about this pattern is that it comes with the lining pieces. I'll turn it over at the end of this so you can see how the way it looks on the inside. Um, this pattern for this top, the waistline is a high waistline. Now the difference between a high waistline and an umpire waistline, the umpire sits right below the bust line. The high waistline sits about between two, two and a half inches higher than your navel. And this is exactly where this um, top is going to hit you roughly depending if you have a short torso or not and you may want to consider that before you make it when you look at my final finished pictures hopefully that gives you a better judgment so it has um, I think it's like a quarter inch elastic in here it has um, the peplum effect in the bottom for the hem treatment, because this is a chalice, I decided to serge the edge of the actual flounce and then I turned it over and it just ran a machine stitch over it. And as you can see, that worked out really, really well. Um, the next thing about this dress is the gathered neckline. I made a size 10 and I think that's like 37 inches my bust line is about 36 inches the reason why I chose to just have like one inch um, of positive ease is because I've found that whenever they make these tops with the the gathers or the pleats at the neckline it tend to have more ease built into it and for me being small busted it's sometimes a little bit too much for me so I took that chance you do whatever you do with tops that's what I will basically tell you you know you have to make that judgment call so this is the back the back also has pleats up at the neckline on both sides there is a keyhole effect with a button loop now the thing is a couple months ago in the summer i was doing some snoop shopping and i saw that they use like a really thin probably like um i don't know one eighth of an inch elastic for button loops Was supposed to try it on this top and then I totally forgot about it until I was done that would have been a great opportunity to use the elastic instead of the actual fabric but um yeah and that's the keyhole right there and of course the center back seam and so this is the inside of the front part of the garment it has a little bus starts right there so you know if you need to do your FBAs or whatever and this is the back. And that's about it. So do I recommend this top? Absolutely. I think this is a great shell for under your jackets, wear with jeans, you know, just whatever. I feel like if I can make 10 of them. Um, so without further ado, I will show you guys the look of the day.